Object pooling is sometimes one of those things that might sound a little bit more complicated than it actually is. Most of the time, all we're really trying to accomplish is instead of instantiating and destroying objects back and forth, which can sometimes be quite expensive, we can sometimes just activate it, reactivate it, or basically disable it and make it inactive in our scene. We can actually go in and create our own custom object pool. For example, if you have a gun and you'd like to object pool a bunch of bullets, in that object pool, we can basically tell it what to do when we want to get or release a bullet appropriately. If a bullet doesn't yet exist in the pool, well then now's a good time to actually go ahead and instantiate that bullet and that's just fine. But if it already exists, well then let's just set it to active and reposition it accordingly. Well when we actually want to destroy the bullet, let's just set it to inactive. That'll save us quite a bit of resources so once we need the bullet shortly thereafter, we can just go in and grab that bullet and set it back to active. So the next time you have something in Unity that you're constantly destroying or reinstantiating, consider object pooling instead.